Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly top five. Today we take a look at the top five this week. Yeah, that's it. Let's get started. All right, so starting off with number five, this is the Amisco. Amisco? Amisco. Amisico. Amisico. Hmm. So, anyways, this is the Amisico static oil drilling platform by Tech. And uh, it has some instructions. Let's see what they are. Uh, well, it has a video. Ugh, I'm not going to do that. So, let's go ahead and see. So, you know, we played with this on uh, the workbench. Tried to make these things work. Looks like this one's got some stuff going on. What's in here? Is this like the whole control center? Oh, I hate monitor. Are this, is that the good quality monitor? Hold on. Wait, where's the monitor? Hi. How about ultra? I need an ultra here. But okay, well, let's see. Activate slurry, activate pump jack, clamp drill, drill up, drill down, toggle drill, connect drill. Toggle drill. Okay, so do I have to start out here? I think probably. Let's see, maybe I have to do this first. Let's see. Ew. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the turn. Okay, now forward. And how do we turn it on? Space. Okay, now back. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, yeah, somebody was saying, I think it was Professor, said you want to slide them kind of like out the side or something. Oh, wow. Oh, maybe the physics might be the problem. Let's turn that up. There we go. Now it's strong enough to do it. Okay, so we have to do that. Okay, so what is the next part here? That's... Wait. How's this set up? I want to do this. Oh, wait, that's the thing. How do I move me forward? Oh, number one, maybe. Number one. Number one. Where's that other part? The part that... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, let's uh, okay, let's try putting it in. Okay, putting it down. Where'd that pipe go? What? What? Let's just uh, spawn this again, I guess. All right. Oh well, crap. Do I have to? Oh, okay, so the one thing I forgot is I have a bad habit of playing games with everything disabled because I want frame rate and uh, I didn't have the, the new, you know, oil crap enabled. So, all right, so this might work slightly better because we now have the little, you know, plug thing in there. All right, so come over here, turn it, turn it, go out, space. See it? Yeah, that doesn't work, Professor. I can't turn it left or right. So I'm just going to pull it back. That seemed to get it out. Okay, cool. Okay. Now we're going to go forward. Number one. Number one. Now this thing, will it move? I feel like it should, but I don't know if it will. All right, let's try it again. See, move forward. Clap. Okay. That's good, right? I think that's good. Um, let's see. So let's bring this, let's unclap, let's bring it back. Okay, <laughs> I'm just guessing how to do this again. Let's see here, and I come back over here. Um, move it, is anything moving? Maybe not. Okay, um, drop it, move it back. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going down. All right, cool, let's just, make it drill connector can I go down um after like that that oh is this how it works we never got this far so I'm kind of impressed it's going down okay uh I should probably move this back and then when it gets like right there. I think we can disconnect it, maybe? Okay. Pretty good. And let's stop there. Draw up. Yeah. Okay. See, this is like the connector thing, right? That's what we figured out. So you have to bring this in and you have to connect that and then you have to bring another one of these pipes in. But if this thing just connects the pipe straight up, can I move the rod up and down okay wait that uh, looks like it's stuck okay we'll go back over here 
I'm sure I'm doing this the harder way than I have to, but wait, what are you doing? Okay, wait, don't don't move. Stop, stop moving. Okay. So the biggest thing that we found out when we were playing on the workshop, which I was going to tell you earlier, but I forgot, uh, is that the alignment is really sensitive. So what Captain did is he made like an alignment checker, and as soon as that alignment was like right on, then a light would go on, and then you could click the button to connect them, and then that would work. So this is a little bit more of a pain because I can't, can't see. Oh, there we go. I can see. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh, 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 it's, it's kind of there. Go in. Okay. All right. So it's kind of stuck together, right? But it's not, it's not aligned. Toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle. This is hokey. I don't think it should be this hard. I think that Geometa made this harder than it needs to be. Because they're like next to each other. And they're in that thingamabob. And they should connect they're not they're not moving okay uh come on just connect alignment my butt but anyways the idea is here you know you take the drill down turn the things you saw me do it i kind of got it working i just can't get these dumb things to connect so that's the idea uh you want to show me how to do it you can go ahead and leave your comments below and say you did it wrong but i don't care anyways if you want to try this out for yourself the link is in the description uh there's also a video on the page that i didn't watch that shows you how to do it but, you know, we've got things to do here, so uh, let's get to the next one. So coming at number four and killing my frame rate, I am on low physics. Ooh, this is terrible. Uh, is the RMS Aurora by Flaming Fox? Ah, uh, it, okay. I'm not complaining about the build itself, but I'm going to complain about the build. Because some of you guys build these beautiful ships, but you're adding features that kill the game. So I'm, I'm running a pretty beefy computer. And this is struggling on low physics. And so when you build these beautiful things and you're sharing them and you want people to download them on the scrap, you're you're making them more complex than they need to be. Like, so first thing, if you're going to put ropes, I would learn how to use the, uh, the XML crap. I don't do it, but if you want to put ropes, make XML ropes. Another thing, all these pivots are killing your build. Uh... So you've got all these pivots, ropes, and you've got all these lifeboats. And so people want to play with your build, but they're going to have to struggle through bad frame rates. So to me, maybe make the boats a little bit simpler. Maybe make them with a hard point. Maybe make only one or two that actually work and not however many this is. And so people can enjoy your build because it's not fun. I'm sorry. It's not fun to slug through low frame rate. Um, I mean, if your building is just for you and you want to do that and you don't care about what other people think, that's that's fine. I get that. But for me, like it's not fun to go into low frame rate mode, even with low, f you know, low physics, and tour this boat. It's just, it's not fun. So I'll take a look at this and we'll go through it. But I would suggest make it as frame rate friendly as you can. I get you're trying to add a lot of detail, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of repeating myself. So you get the idea. So I will stop complaining about the frame rate and we'll just check it out. So we got some nice rooms here. I'm assuming these are all about the same here. Yeah, okay. And we got the boat deck. All right, let's go ahead and tour this. We got doors. And we've got this. Okay, let's go down here and check out this area real quick. I know I'm going to miss sections of the boat. It's a big boat. It's got... This is like a nursery. I feel like this is a nursery. And then we got back here. And... More rooms and stuff like that. So, let's go back. Alright. And we'll go down. I know, I'm skipping parts, skipping parts, but... Main deck. Okay. How long is this? It's pretty long. Are these more rooms? Okay, are these just bathrooms? I feel like that's a lot of bathrooms. Did it really have that many bathrooms in a row? Crazy. Uh, but anyways, oh yeah, this is a fictional ship. I forgot to mention, so maybe it didn't have that many bathrooms. But uh, we're moving on here. Check in the back. Looks like a smoking room. OK. 
can we go down from here or is this just no we can't go down okay let's go back here and go well we could go forward i guess and check out this forward area got the dining room and the kitchen and a monster muffin monster muffin maybe i don't know and then we have another dining room and we have the, you know what i just noticed i thought would it be nice if there were like something scary in here but i just remembered we have the zombie add-on but they never they never fixed it you know they never really did anything with it. they don't destroy vehicles so they're kind of boring so maybe next halloween maybe i must be in a bad mood i apologize but uh checking it out here we got like i guess kind of crew birthing 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 i think it's birthing crew birthing 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 i don't know one of those words all right so i'm gonna go on down back and then go down and uh have some fun wait what is this oh downstairs all right a lot of rooms so that's gonna Ooh, be hard in the frame rate too but there is a lot of rooms here look a little stage but uh yeah just I, I am curious now just to get rid of the um the pivots and the ropes if that would help a lot or a little because this looks like a full interior build so there is a lot going on here so maybe the frame rate just can't be helped and now i'm lost inside the boat do you have any down oh there's more down okay let's go down okay we're on deck B. I don't know how many B's are, or how many decks there are. Like a mail room? And we have this. Alright, here, we're just going to go down. Because I want to start the engine. And I think you have to go down in the engine. Turn on the engine, simply go to the helm. Oh, well, I could just stay. Wait, what? Why is this? Oh, I guess that's interesting. Okay, we got batteries. So, infinite electricity is not needed. We got boilers. I got lots of stuff to fix things. And we come up here. I have no idea where we're going. Ah, going down. And through the boil another boiler room. Secondary boiler room, I guess. Lots of pipes. Lots and lots of pipes. Those turbines. Diesel engines, okay. And then we come through here, and more diesel engines. And, holy moly, more diesel engines. And, more diesel engines? Holy moly! Okay, is there anything around this area? What's this? Okay, lots of weight. Okay. So let's see if we can get out of here on this ladder. And get up to the helm, somehow. Some way. Somehow, some way. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take the stairs all the way up. And I think that's it. So now promenade deck. Let's see if we can go summit way to the helm. Which way is the helm? There's a ladder here, so we'll go this way. What the? Are these like lights? Oh, that's cool. Does it light up? And of course the sinking mode. Okay, let's go ahead and hold number one. Okay. So like started. There it is. Okay. So let's see it right now at night. So no lights. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a jalopy or something. It's kind of the engine sounds are really crazy in this game now. Alright. Let's just turn on all these lights. Wow, that must have been a pain in the butt to hook up. Okay, and finally, there we go, all right, let's see what it looks like now, there you go, wow, that looks nice, like, that is a crazy amount of light, I'm stuck on the, uh oh, I don't think I need any help sinking, I'm stuck on the wall, it's like the Titanic hitting the iceberg, but it's an oil rig, okay, wait, two is reverse, okay, let's reverse, shipwide alarm, that sounds good, 
It's kind of a weird alarm. Let's turn that off. I can't turn it off? I can't seem to go backwards or forwards. It is just stuck. All right, so I respawned it because I really want to see this thing move because it is a beautiful ship and has a lot of work and love that has gone into it. So let's go ahead and at least get it moving. That's a lot of engines. You hear all those engines? Like, it doesn't matter where you stand on the boat. You're going to hear engines. There's a lot. So we're going to go ahead and move on. But if you want to try this ship, you can download it in the description below. But I would suggest uh, really try to optimize it. Maybe just make the U-boats. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about submarines. Make the, uh, uh, what you call it, lifeboats just part of the ship and see if that helps with the frame rate. Because it would be a little, lot more fun if you just explore it. Uh, at a higher frame rate. So, anyways, a beautiful ship, nicely done, and you can download it in the description below. All right, coming in at number three is the SAH-70 Alia or Alia uh, by Yen or Sky, whoever you know him by. But now he's known by Yen, so I guess we'll go with Yen. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. A lovely build as always. Nice lines, nice shape. These always look like, I don't know, they like like flying sharks to me. I mean, of course they're orange and stuff, but they always kind of look, the helicopters look like sharks to me. Some kind of like flying creature thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get it started here. All right, let's see if we can hop inside. Yep, I'm in the co-pilot side. There we go. Let's look in the back here. Oh, it looks like we do have a ramp. Are those new sound effects or something? That sounded cool. Or is that like he used a buzzer to make that? I don't know, but it's cool. I really like that. What is that? Someone tell me in the comments below, because that sounds awesome. <laughs> I'll stay here all day doing that. Okay, sorry. Okay, and we got lots of seating. And now we have to find the parts to start. So, battery, one and two, bus. Okay. Bat oh, there it is. God, missed it. Avionics main, right there, big key. Got the cool logo. Awesome. And then everything lights up. <gasps> Look at that. That's cool. Can I click these? You can. What's the back button on these things? I have no idea. I don't know. I broke it. I should stop touching things. I'm sorry. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just untouch that. Okay. So next is ADIRS main. Boom. Master caution just flipped on. Okay. Uh, HYD ABC on. Okay, there's... Wait, wait, what? ABC? Okay, there's A. There's B. There's C. Yay! That was easy. Engine valve. We'll go with that. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Now, I could just flip everything on, but it's probably better to follow directions. Rotor breaker off, rotor brake on. Okay, rotor brake off. Engine one, master on. It says main. Let's assume these are the masters. Okay, and gen one, gen two. Once the engine are started, green light starting is off. Okay. It's starting to rotor itself okay green light engine once the engines are started green light off set them to idle set them to idle uh, out of flight okay those are off right yep okay so where's our idle I know I saw it wait that's one where's the other one this one yeah that one all right, cool. Now the parking brake. I have no clue where that's at. Parking brake. There we go. All right. So, that's it, I think. So what do we do? Do we hit shift? What is that noise? Master warning? Okay, what the heck am I doing wrong on this one? Set flight. Okay, I did that. Right, I did this. Okay, if I turn these off, that's not gonna work. Right? Right. I'm making this into a ground car because I don't know how to 
get off the ground. I don't understand. What am I not boosting that needs to be boosted? Yeah, everything's on. Wait, is it because it... Wait, did I flip these off? Oh, I flipped them the wrong way, apparently. Yay, for me! Woo! Let's get out of here. That was way too much work. Uh, gear somewhere here? There we go. Hey, look at that. We're flying. Just because I didn't flip the switch the right way. Uh, so there you go. Ta-da! My bad. Got it going. So this is number three. You can download this in the description below and check it out for yourself. Make sure you flip the buttons the right way or you end up with a flying or a non-flying helicopter, truck, ground, ground helicopter. Yeah, that's what you end up with. So there you go. Check it out. Description below. All right. Next up is the... Okay. All right, coming in number two, without blowing up. Yeah, there you go. Is the Turbo Sky Tug 916T Blue Bandit, and this is by Turbo Shark. And Turbo Shark's like, "Why are you on the land?" And I'm gonna say, "I I don't know. I don't know why I'm on the land. I just thought it was a flying boat, so it didn't need to be in the water. So that's why I'm on the land." Okay, good explanation. Let's get inside. Outside, on top, and there we go. Okay. So, uh, I probably need some instructions for this as well, but let's just first look around. Okay, so we got these cool propellers here with a belt, which looks really nice. And if that spins, it's going to be even cooler because it'll look like it's a belt drive propeller. So, we've got a nice little area here. Whoop! Crap. Alright, so we got a nice little area down here that we're going to check out. A nice little kitchen for your role-playing needs. Oh, nothing lights up. Darn it. Okay, and this one, he took an interesting approach. So I've seen some various ways of doing this. So this is using sensor, I think. I've seen uh, microphones being used. And I've seen, of course, the paint blocks where people draw and then they light it up. And I think I've seen one more way to do it. But this is another nice way to do it. And you can see, like, there are two different sizes of grills, which is cool. Then we've got a nice little area here with, like, cups, which are hard points. And... I think that's a speaker and i'm well, not sure what that is but looks nice and we've got our stuff here uh, these are upside down steps that looks cool parachute always good to have okay wait 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 did i see a thing to click let me click these cool okay what's down there Ooh. okay wow okay this is cool we've got the engine room here little compact space a lot of detail in this little compact space and it's using pistons oh that's cool i haven't really played with those i got this here's a rubber ducker you got a copy on me big pen come on why are we saying that what are we doing convoy we got a big old convoy ain't she a beautiful sight okay actually we don't have a convoy at all it's just us okay we got a bathroom looks nice Always turn on lights when you can. Little bedroom, very nice. And, wait, is this the shower? Okay, so we got the shower separate. Although you could poop in the shower. I've done it, but uh, it's not really a good way to do it. It's better to use the bathroom back here. Just, just saying. All right, so there we go. I've got this and a nice little area down here, rather large. And uh, let's go ahead and come up to the top here and see what the Oh, I might. Did I not shut the door? Oh, I shut the door. Open the door. There we go. Whew. All right, there we go. And this is the back end here. And you get up that way. And then we have this. So what is the procedure here? Power up the bridge with the switch to the left of the helm. Bridge power. Wow, I like the colors. It looks nice. Uh, like all of this stuff. That looks nice. Don't know if these are third parties. I think that's a third party. Uh, I don't know if he made any of these, but that looks nice. What is this? Range fuel? Fuel range? Depth? Lights? Auto? This looks custom. All right, what do I do next? Start the engines uh, with either the switch on the overhead panel in the wheels or the key in the engine room. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start with the switch. There we go. 
Ta-da! Wait, how do we get off the ground? Maybe this is a bad idea to be on land. This might be a short trip. Uh, it will take nearly two minutes for the boiler to start cr creating steam. During this time, the engine is very loud. Please be patient. I promise the engine will go down to idle and be much less noisy once the system is fully running. A, D is to turn the tug in both water and flight mode. W, S is pitch. Increase, decrease your forward speed in water or flight mode by one key. Hmm. I may not be able to get off the ground. Uh, engage flight mode with the button beneath the right throttle. Fly is more like a plane, so this might be a bad idea. But everybody else tried it from the water. I'm doing something different from my video. You see that? I'm, uh... Okay, oh. The idle is going down. All right, so there we go. So where's the flight mode button? Okay, we're definitely going to want to do that. Oh, it's gravity? Oh, we might be able to go up with that. All right, let's do this. Ready? Oh, <laughs> we don't need no water. Look at that. It's floating. It's a boat. They float on the land. This is awesome. Okay. So, can I... Does W... Oh, that's pitch up. Okay, so I need number one. There we go. Look at this. Uh oh oh. Okay, let's go up quick. There we go. Anyways, point is... Oh! Uh-oh! Uh oh <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not done yet. That's just minor damage. Okie dokie. That might be major damage. Okay, but... The good thing is, now we're in the water, and we can turn back into a boat. See? Look at this. I got this down. This is not a problem. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so first off, I just want to, you know, be the, the one to tell you that I'm the first one to take off from land. And second, um, I did a landing on the water on my first try. So, everything is going rather well, considering this is my video. So... Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, what is that? It's a fire warning. Okay, well, let, let's go back up in the air. All right, we need to hit this button. Okay, and let's just grab it, you know, get some gravity here. And then we'll just take off. Not a big deal. Might be a big deal. Maybe, yeah, we're, we're dead. All right, the engines have just gone down. And uh, we are not floating it. So I'm going to wait for a second and see if that kicks on. Oh, wait. I had to hit the button, right? There we go. Okay, so we're still on the ground. So let's just boost this up a little bit. A lot. And look at that. Much better now, right? Because I'm vertical takeoff kind of thing. Okay, let's just stop that. Yeah. And now we'll hit number one. And now we're moving. And we can... We don't do anything. We just move. There we go. Hey, much better takeoff this time. Again, took off from land. First to do it. I'm just claiming that. Don't know if it's true. And uh, there we go. So very cool. So now if we want to go back in the water, we can... Oh, I just want it down to zero. Uh, we can do that. And then we can just go down. Go down. Okie dokie. Here we go. And. Boop. All right, nice. Then let's just go do that. Put that to zero. All right, there we go. So it's using the propellers now. And look, the little wings go up. And we're moving. Okay, cool. Whoa. Whoa. Why are we dolphining? What's with the dolphin? Why are we dolphining? I don't... Kind of a cool view, though, isn't it? Dolphin diving. Nice. Okay, so can we just take off like this? Uh -huh. We're going up. Not yet. We're going up. Not yet. How about if I hit that button? Oh, there we go. Wow, that really boosts you. Okay, cool. So, 
how high can we go? Can we go, like, really high? Yeah, we can. And then, we can just turn that off. And just go like this. Boom. And slowly go back to the water. It doesn't drop out of the sky, which is cool. It's just kind of... Going down. Oh, we have these. And we can turn it with these. We're going up. And we turn with these. And they go down. Boop. There you go. So, very cool. This was the Turbo Sky Tug Blue Bandit by Turbo Shark. And you can download this in the description below. Let's get to number 2 2, which you'll understand when you see it. This was also number two on the workshop today. So it's the deprecated. What do you mean deprecated? Fluid filter by um by the devs. Uploaded by D Derpy Derp. Number two. Let me know in the comments below if you like this filter better than the new filter and why. All right, let's get to number one. All right, coming in at number one this week is the SS-97, U.S. Submarine, World War II. Uh, maybe it should be U.S. World War, wait, World War II, U.S. Submarine, SS-97. Read it backwards. Sounds better. And this is by, let's see. Well, we've got a lot of people listed here. But uh, Blake, uh, Brooke, also known as Gabe. Uh, we've got Fisher Cat listed. We've got Vivid Eye and Not a Therapist all on the list. I'm not going to go through all this submarine today. I'm just going to take a quick look at it and maybe start the engine if I can remember how. But if you want a in-depth look at the submarine, go ahead and click on the video to the top right right now. Or wait till I go through this video and check out the video linked at the end of this video. And you'll get a tour with the guys who built it. So that'll be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get on and just check it out in general. So first off, it has a beautiful deck. These are paint blocks, and the simple look of this is great, right? So it's, it's got the, you know, like the wood panels, and then it has like the hard metal bars probably, and then the little screws, and they're like three colors, and it looks great. And it's got some weathering on the side, but overall, just the deck itself is a nice deck. A lot of people try to do a wooden deck on these and do like detailed wood and try to, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know, make it kind of blend with different colors but I think this is more effective inside the game for the look of the game I think this matches really well doing it this way so it looks really good uh, we've got some battle plane maintenance hatches here not too sure what's in there some stuff uh, I guess there's like three ways to get in this ship but the main one is the forward hatch and then we've got the deck gun of course uh, we've got the conning tower, conning tower, conning tower, which you can go up, but it's hard to get in that way because it's not really the way you're supposed to get in. And we have this aft hatch, and we have way back here another emergency hatch back there. So the way you get in the sub probably is the best way to get in the sub is to go to the front hatch and go down into, I guess, the torpedo room, I'm guessing. Let's just see. Yeah, there we go torpedo room so again i'm not going to show you all the details on how this works right now because we have a great video that we put together links up in the right or at the end of this video if you want to wait until i check it out real quick but we have torpedo tubes they're fully loaded uh they work very realistically in loading them uh, you can see you've got these torpedoes hung top and bottom and then interestingly enough you can't see it but there's a bed right there so pretty cool you can also move the ladder because up there is a way, wait, no, not there, right here, is a way to reload the torpedo if you wanted to. If you were crazy enough to try, uh, you could reload these torpedoes. So the ladder moves back and forth. So you can like shove them to the right, shove them to the left. So very cool. So we're just going to go ahead and tour really quick. We've got a bathroom. We've got some bedding. We've got some officer's course. Oh my God, really? Cancel that. Okay, let's turn on the light here. All right, let's wait for that to shut up. All right, it is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on some lighting in here. 
and uh, this is your command center you know uh, where you go ahead and dive it's got these cool things here and uh, you got your periscope and of course your ladder up all right so we're just going to go ahead and check out all the compartments here so we have a little hydrophone room here this is just off to the side and a uh, radio and if we come back here we have the kitchen area here galley where you can eat uh, which is really cool i really like this part is this is like a switchboard and all these boxes are connected to this and it shows you like what's functional so if i come back here and say uh let's shut that and i turn off the stove come over here the stove is off right there see that stove off stove on so it's kind of like a circuit breaker board it shows you what's going on in the sub i love that it's really nice all right so we come back I should probably turn the lights so it looks nice come back here you're in the engine room okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start the engines but first let's go ahead and go all the way back here and we have like guest generator electric motors and a little tool area here which is nice so there you go very cool so again if you want more details on this submarine watch the video on the top right top right and uh or wait till i'm done with this and click on the video at the end of the video yeah that's it all right so let's go ahead and start it so if i remember right we have to turn all of these on click that we have a light that flashes here a little oil and we pump it Okay, once the light goes off, we're good. Go ahead and throttle up. And, not the, is it with the loop closed? No, it's the starting air. There we go. You gotta see this come to life here. There we go. There, pitter pattering. Let me just turn that off. Very cool. Come over here. And do that. Do our little pumpy pump. Okay, turn this all the way up, and starting air. Are these working? Oh, stopped working. Okay, did I forget a step? Okay, that's working. Interesting. I feel like I must be missing a step. Oh, other, where's the lights? Where's the lights? I don't really hear the engines. Now, I had this trouble with them as well. It's very odd. So it should be running, but it's not. Why isn't it running? What did I forget? I didn't forget this part, because that's off, right? Yeah. So what the deal here, dudes? I turned all these. Yeah. I don't need to touch that. I did the pump. Okay, and then I turn this. Okay. Okay, maybe I didn't close that off fast enough. Okay, this one's broken piston or something, but it's working. Okay. So after we do that, I got this now. Come back here and turn that on. Shut this door. Turn that on. I feel like one of these is not working. Okay, that one's running. This one's kind of having trouble running. All right. Here, right, let's turn this off again. <laughs> How'd I break this? Okay. Hold on. Wait, what? I don't know. I'm having trouble with this engine. It's kind of running. Whatever. Okay, we're just going to pretend like it's running. And that's how you do it. So, follow my exact instructions, and you too can have a boat that's half working. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, I'm not sure if I forgot a step or what, but the one engine's working. So, to get it moving, and we should not be moving, right? Yeah, we're not moving. Uh, we should go ahead and come over here. And we got to... We first, I think we do that, and then we do this, and then we do this. 
And now we can do this, and we can do this. But I don't know if my both engines are running or just one. Let's see, where's the engines here? Or the props? Yeah, they look like they're both working. I don't know. Something odd with that engine. Okay, let's see if we can restart it by shutting it down. I don't know what that noise is. It's driving me crazy. Okay, it's quiet. We'll take it. It's quiet. All right, cool. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is this the right way? That's the wrong way. This is the right way. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got the engine started. So <laughs> if you want a more in-depth look at this beautiful submarine, please go ahead and click the right video or the video at the end of this video and check out. So this was number one for the weekly top five and uh, it's a lovely submarine. So go ahead and download all of these builds in the description below and let me know what you think about them. And also, when you go to the workshop, let the creators know what you think. Leave a comment. So that's about for today. If you haven't done this already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.